only four. Wow, it's a crash. Massive crash. There was a sort of mistake during uh, making a shift. So one Irish rider is back. So as one Brazilian rider. We're halfway through. It's an only two points between Marathon Tula cycling team and Team Switzerland. One lap till the intermediate sprint. This time it's Russia against Marathon Cycling Tula team. And it's very close. Let's wait and see who gets five points. It's Marathon Tula cycling team. Wow, that was close. Alona Ivanchenka at the front with Team Switzerland. Two laps till the intermediate sprint and nicely done by Team Marathon Tula cycling. They're doing really well. One more shift for Team Marathon Tula cycling. A good one. So it's now Abaidulina against uh, Hatuntsova. That's going to be close and uh, let's wait and see. I think it's again Marathon Tula cycling team, the one who takes five points, yeah. So it's Marathon Tula cycling with 50 points on the first place. Simone Krupetskaita is the most experienced one on the last position behind the Jodorny rider. Let's wait and see. Two Germans at the front, having a small gap. Watch out for this Colombian, she's very fast. Good acceleration from Krupetskaita. She's using the width for the track. And now it's Bayona Pineda, just behind Jana Tishenka. Very good acceleration by the Colombian. Look what she's doing. She has very good speed. And she's going to win this. Yes, it's a victory for Marta Bayona Pineda. Amazing victory. So two laps to go. Quite a fast start here. So it's Dirash versus Shalantai. Shalantai coming forward. Trying to keep in the line. It's the last lap. He tries to use the slipstream behind the French rider. But he just don't have he just doesn't have the legs. As Dirash, the one who wins with his he is a bronze medalist of this event. So here we go. It's Yakolev against Kintero. Total silence here in the arena. Everybody is waiting patiently. Quite a similar strategy for Yakolev. He doesn't want to play cat and mouse games with Kintero. Just gaining the speed. Again, Kintero used maximum radius here on the turn. The last lap, Kintero. Look at what he's doing, amazing attack by Quintero. He has the speed and he's going to overtake Yakovlev, it's going to be close. Yakovlev misses his line, but still it's Quintero, the one who's going to take it. Kevin Santiago Quintero is the winner of man sprinting. It's a crash race. Uh, the rules are quite simple. You just need to finish first. That might be a good attack from uh, Yuri Leitao. He was uh, uh, very good yesterday in Madison. But uh, then he decided not to go. Five riders up front, 16 laps to go. It's only 4K. So it's one more attack by Partugis Yuri Leitao. No one wants to take the responsibility for chasing. It's Claudio Imhoff trying to do some work and Volikakis on his wheel. Leitao accelerates for one more time. It's Imhoff and Volikakis, but it's Leitao who wins it. So here we go. Attack by Imhoff, attack by Volikakis. It's Volikakis, the one who's going to take this one point right now. Is he going to continue? Yes. And now Portuguese rider wants to overtake Volikakis and he does so. 
It's one point for Yuri Leitao. So a couple of riders has gained a lap. And only seven laps to go. Nice attack by Yuri Leitao. Now it's Imkov. Leitao doesn't want to follow. So final standing, Yuri Leitao, 27 points. After winning Scratch, he also wins Tempo Race. And here we go. Yuri Leitao is, uh, spends most time at the front of the bunch. He feels himself great. And now it's Kyle Gordon from Scotland. Wow. That was tough. I don't know how Kyle Gordon managed to stay on the track and not to fall. Acceleration by Volikakis. He feels himself great. So now it's uh, Karalok, Evgeny Karalok from uh, Belarus. He takes uh, the fourth place. And I think Gleb Syriza is out of the power. And look what he's doing. Very good acceleration by Syriza. So it's going to be close and it's going to be Yuri Leitao from Portugal, the one who is out. That was interesting move by Syriza, I liked it. That's a nice battle and Syriza is going to win it. Well, that might be a dangerous attack by Yevgeny Karolok. If he gains a lap, he will be in contention for the gold medal. This might be an opportunity for Karolok. They're not very working well right now. And Karolok is doing well. Attack by Leitao. Siritz on his wheel. Leitao is going to take three points. So now he makes a lap. And now he's in the lead. 127 points for Karolok. And now it's Leitao and Karolok trying to gain one more lap. Siritz must react. And Karolok and Leitao are attacking and finishing their job. They get extra 20 points. It's the second lap gain, lap gain for Karolok. It's going to be very difficult for Leitao to come back from this. Yuri Leitao is second with 166 points. So it's Evgeny Karolok, the one who takes the victory. Congratulations to, for the Belarus guys.